Greetings, fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Today we are back up on Mount Gelmir. So there were parts of this place that I did not explore. But we are here now, so that we can explore it. First off, this is where we are. We have warped to the first Mount Gelmir campsite and ascended up here because I saw that there was a bridge that would lead us up above and around the Erd Tree and potentially to other territories. I don't know. There was loot here. There was one small bit of white loot which turned out to be a uh, uh, Golden Rune Rank 6, so I didn't include that in the recording because I don't think you guys care all that much about the random runes that I find. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Sacramental Buds. We're going to go up this tower first and see what's up here. Now, I may have already done this a while back, but again, it's been a while since I've been here. It's been well over a week. And I'm fairly certain I didn't go over that way, so... Ah, look at this. I have not done this tower, so... I guess we'll see if this is uh, actually anything useful. And fire arrows. Tell me there's more than ten fire arrows. <laughs> There's an item of some interest here. Okay. Bully bow. All right. And what exactly is a bully bow? Okay. It's a uh, longbow. Longbow which utilizes a series of pulleys and strings and springs. The complex mechanism which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft, was likely made by a certain genius who learned go golden order... who learned golden order fundamentalism. Enhances precision while shooting, enabling arrows to fly much farther distances. A mighty shot. Okay, so it's basically a modern, uh, you know, compound bow. <laughs> kind of cool, actually. Um, I do still want to do some archery, so maybe I will actually invest into that. As you can see, I'm currently using the Nox... Flowing Sword and the Albanoric Shield, which I've upgraded to some degree. The Nox Flowing Sword, not quite to the same level that I've upgraded the Scythe. It's only plus eight right now. But it's something. Um, so I we can go up there. We can also go around this way and grab these uh, Sacramental Buds. And these volcanic stones and check out what's up here very briefly because I don't know if I've been up here. Oh, you see, this looks like a totally different direction. Or maybe this is where I actually went uh, originally and I didn't go the other way. Yeah, I feel like I must have come here. Although I did miss an arteria leaf then. So, decently well hidden one. Hello, Vulf. All right. I will check that other bridge as soon as I feel like this is a place that I've been. Though, admittedly, there is loot here that I've not gathered, so... Mushrooms. Six mushrooms. Very, very worthwhile. Absolutely a necessary find. I don't know if I could have completed the game if I didn't grab them. Um, anything up and around the edges. Just looking for, like, caves. It does seem like there are, generally speaking, less caves in these parts of the maps than there are in, say, uh, Limgrave. But here, look, here's some. Just what I was saying. What is this? Does it open? It does. Lift. Oh. This looks like a lift down to one of the subterranean segments. That's because it is. Now, it's not as glowy as the other ones, but maybe this just leads us down to, uh... Down to what now, actually? I have no idea where this might lead. But hey, I'm all for it. More to explore. This looks like just a big catacomb, actually. Oh, Gelmir's Hero's Grave. Beast Eye Quivers. Oh yeah, we still need to deal with Garank. Okay. 
So, trying to remember, we have done a previous hero's grave, which was one of the... Yep. This is gonna be the same. Fuck my life. Absolutely not what I wanted to do. Especially not with lava. Dear lord. Yeah, I see you. Don't don't think that I don't. I'm in here. Bye. You guys can come here now. Come on. Yeah, yeah. It's a fucking chariot dungeon. Did it go down already? It did. Oh, but now it's gone like... I am concerned. No. 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 Oh my god. I hate it. That fucker shot me. I hate these dungeons. I was hoping that <laughs> the one at the beginning was the only one, but also kind of expecting that it probably wouldn't be. Scripture wooden shield, that's new. Not encountered one of those before. A small wooden round shield, it is light and easy to handle, but cannot offer the damage negation of a metal shield. An ancient cipher engraved or engraving lines the circumference, though it isn't much. Boost holy damage negation. Okay, cool. Probably useful to find here, considering we're inevitably going to uh, encounter some holy enemies. I wonder if you can actually no 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 no. Not here. Wait. Okay, now we go. And this little shit not be allowed to shoot us. No, no, no. None of that. Bye. You're dead. Nice. And if you killed them in the lava, they just stay dead forever. Now he's gonna come up. Is he gonna go all the way back up, or is he gonna stop right up here? He stops right here. Okay, so I need to just jump out immediately. Oh god. I hate it. And run into here. Yeah, nice try. Where do you even go? Oh, he's there. He's gonna get absolutely wrecked and thrown into the lava. Nice. Now what? I need to look. Okay, there's another one there. So I'm gonna wait for him to come back up. Tell you what. I'm gonna equip boost physical damage negation and non-physical damage negation. No, we don't need that. Maybe I'll take this. Greatly raises maximum HP, huh? I don't know. I wonder if you can actually tank this thing. I doubt it. Sincerely doubt it. But on the off chance you can. No! Ha! Jerk. Okay. We got ourselves a uh, place right there. Gonna run into there. We're probably gonna get shot. Oh, we're okay. And oh, we can leave. Or we can go farther. That just seems like it's a lava waterfall, though. And I don't like that. That is a tunnel that we can get to. This also looks interesting because this looks like. Hello, I'm a youth box. No, I'm fighting you in here, because I don't trust that there aren't A, more of them, like the one over there. And B. I don't trust that there aren't gonna be like a chariot somewhere. I don't think there is. Even if this is like the right type of area. Okay, it's not it's not one of the super bad ones. It's just a regular one. Okay. Die. Seriously. What did you drop? Page trousers. Where are you at? Seriously? Huh? 
Page trousers. It's the light one. Okay, trousers worn by pages who serve the nobility and are mindful to keep them out of harm's way. Traveling wear tailored with exquisite precision to avoid any undue shame for the page's master. Yeah, okay. Brave Glovewort 7, I'll take it. That's useful. There's a chariot here. Or is it just the fire? It's just the fire. I don't know where the chariot's at. Just that, okay. Nice! Good swing there. Really solid. Took that guy out, first try. It's a super hard enemy. All right, I'm turning the lantern on. I can see jerks like that. What are you guys looking at? That must be an invisible wall. It's not. But it could have been. Any of these could be invisible walls, actually. And that concerns me. So, we've got ourselves a horrible fire trap. Another page. Let's just kill him like this. Get wrecked. Okay. We'll wait for the fire. Grab that. Perfumer bolts. Cool. Then what's in here? Can't see shit. Okay, we can make it to there. And it only seems to spit out one side. So that's good. Let's go. Alright. That can go down. Can we go up? Doesn't look like it. So... Our options are... This way. We can encounter anything. That's from... Aristocrats. Any any pages? Any gargoyles? I don't trust a fucking thing. Okay. Oh, hi. Did not see you there. Oh, I didn't see you there either. Well, fancy to meet both of you guys here. Uh, how do you feel about some madness? Never mind, you don't you don't want the madness. What about Oh you guys are bitches! Alright. Double teaming nonsense. Hey, can I lock onto the one that I actually want to lock onto here? Instead of Oh my god. Ah stop it! It's just so infuriating. I hate poke! Jesus. Okay, switching to the Nox Sword, actually. I think it's gonna be more useful. That can have a shield, which will stop the poke. Alright, better. Much better. Red Branch Short Bow. Okay, we've already gotten that. Uh, we came from that way. It was this here we got the item. I don't think it was anything, but again, I wasn't really looking. And we've got ourselves another chariot! Isn't that delightful? I love chariots, but, um, first... Before we go say hi to that chariot, there is the matter of... What's down that one tunnel? At the end of this chariot? Hell. I'm gonna regret this. I know I am, but at the same time... Where'd it go? All the way up there? Yeah, it's all the way up there. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to go all the way back up then? If it goes all the way back up, that is. I hope so. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a problem. All right, you go. Yeah. Ow, 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 oh no. Well, it's fine. This is not fine. Because there's no way to go except for down. And no, it's just gonna like roll through that. This sucks. This sucks. Sucks big time. Because I could now attempt to run through there and get to the end. That end corner. Using the quick step. While taking damage. But, oh, let me tell you, that doesn't sound like a fun time for anybody. So I'm gonna go back up. And 
hope that it's enough time to get back up. Yeah, we should be fine. All right. I'm gonna say fuck that place. Let's see if we can actually kill this chariot. I've been told you can kill the chariots somehow. I just don't know how. I suspected in the previous dungeon that it might have something to do with that, um... Hi. You're here. You come right back? Yeah, you come right back. Well, that's a problem. I could go up. Go up. Wait for him to come back, and then, um... Go back down, and then I'm gonna go up and, um... Hopefully, find a place. Ah, screw it. I'm going, going right now. Because this looks... Like a trap. Well, we should be good in the corner, right? Follow it down. Hide. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You've gone and done this, huh? Are you kidding me? I can't leave. All I can do is die, I think. Oh, uh, this is... I'm not a fan of this. There's no way out of this. I am, uh... Gonna be a bit upset. this. Ah, I hate these dungeons so much. Hey, I lived. What do you know? One can live. I like that, though. Fucking hell. Yeah, you die out there. Boom. I think we would be farther into this corner. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Ah. I was hoping for an exciting and fun underground segment. Instead, I got pain. I got pain. Come on, can we make that? I really hope we can make that. We made it. Wow, that's, that speeds things up a little. Good, not good. To hide in here. All right. We need to go back down, and we need to be mindful of the fact that there's a fucking ledge here. Really annoying ledge. Ledge killed us last time. Hopefully it doesn't... Yes! Good! Alright. Well, this might be a way to bypass this place, to some degree. Let's go in here. What are you? Cemetery Shade! What the fuck are you doing in here? Holy shit! Uh. Oh my god! Okay. Thank you, FromSoft. Okay, that, that was fine. That that was that was a okay. I approve of that death. Well done. <laughs> that gave me a, a bit of a, a bit of a shock. 
Don't approve of the bullshit of having to get to this point, but... <laughs> okay, we'll try that again. Lucky. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Would have missed this otherwise. Can we, can we get it? Yeah. Hell yeah, brute resin. Fuck the cemetery, Shade. We don't need to go down there. We can instead fight whatever that is. I mean, we could fight it. Or we could laser it. He's gonna have to come up here anyway, so. Oh, it's Bloodhound Knight. Yeah, I'd rather not fight it. Let's just kill it like this. Alright. Easy peasy. Down we go. Bloodhound Knight armor. And the Gelmir Knight set. God damn. Okay. Um. <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff. Bloodhound Knight armor. Metal armor with the jutting breastplate worn by the Bloodhound Knights. The Bloodhound Knights are trained as hunters and known to be unshakable trackers. Without the use of language, each knight chooses... Without the use of language, each knight chooses his own master. Once the decision has been made, the knight stays loyal for life. Yeah, very much like Bloodhounds. Okay. Creepy. Then the Gelmir Knight set. Yeah, Gelmir Knight armor. Yeah, I mean, it's very similar to these. Uh, armor worn by the knights once loyal to Praetor Rikard. Yeah, once. Huh? It bears an emblem that none wear any longer, standing as it does for a lord that fell from lofty ambition into gluttonous depravity. As the lord lost his dignity, so too did these knights lose their master. Cool. Um, gonna quickly look at the helmet. Um, the hound skull helmet. Uh, it doesn't say anything else. Metal helmet with a pointed beak, yeah. Alright, very cool. Two armor sets for efforts. I'll take it. And, um... Yeah, we can hear the chariot rolling around up there, but, I mean, we're all the way down here now. I see no reason why we should wait around, why we need to try and go back up. Man. Is there, like, a cemetery shade behind me? No. All right, we're just in a... That looks like death. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go from here. Yeah, let's not go that way about this way. This doesn't look a whole lot safer to me. I'll be honest. Let me check the uh, sides around this one, though. Any, any loot? Item? Anything? Alright, then. Well, I guess we do have to go back up. there's like invisible walls here or something but these don't look like the type nah don't see anything that looks like it might be invisible okay question is is there anywhere else that we could have dropped to no it's just it's just this it's just this fucking new chariot run now that we can do which is delightful Wait a minute. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. That cherry didn't have a rider. I, no way. I can't walk. Load of bullshit. Load of bullshit. It seems very finicky, like if I miss it by, uh, tiniest portion, I'm, I'm dead. Look at that! Holy shit! We're doing it. We're riding the chariot. We can go down this lava section. Is there anything to grab here? There's something to jump onto there, for sure. Um, and there's a, yeah, there's a ladder. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> And this will take us back down. Okay, then we're gonna do that. I am going to, um, jump. This was a mistake. 
fine. We're okay. I hope this was worth it. I don't know how to get back from here, except for jumping back on the chariot, and that's a bit finicky. Door. That opens. Really? I'm just gonna open the door. I feel like we missed some stuff, but then again, there was some pretty uh, sweet loot already. Take of Marika, thank fuck. Alright, whatever's in here, we can deal with. Right? As long as the stake of Marika actually works, which you may be wondering, oh, when is the stake of Marika not worked? Trust me, there have been some times. Ah! Another wolfy wolf! Hello! Have some frisbees. You're a dog, surely you must love frisbee. All dogs love frisbee. This one doesn't seem to want the frisbees though, which is really kind of sad. Like, why don't you want the frisbee dog? Oh shit, I'm still in my life. Uh, I see why you don't like the Frisbee, because you're very vulnerable to them. Well... That was anticlimactic. Bloodhound Knight Flow. Cool. Legendary summon, right? Yeah. Ashen Remains, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirit of a Bloodhound Knight, they called the Rabid Stray. Will attack without pause immediately after being summoned. Flo vowed there was only one lord he would ever serve, a true king, and so the rabid stray never found a master until now. We also, a while ago, got the depraved perfumer Karman, which I didn't look at, but I did upgrade him. Ashen remains, uh, <laughs> depraved perfumers practice their art for themselves alone. Karman was a notably formidable perfumer whose strengths rivaled that of heroes, and it is said that he was in, s was in search of a secret physic of revivification. Is this going to give us our death route? If this gives us our death route... I'm just going to say fuck the rest of this dungeon. If there's more in here, please let me know, and then maybe I'll come back. But honestly... Honestly, I don't... I don't... I don't want to. Yes, there's a cemetery shade, which is interesting. <laughs> but fuck this place. Tell me if there's, like, any reason to come back. Then then I will, at some point, but... For now, I, I'm, uh, I'm done with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep using this for now. The, the flowing sword, I think, needs to be upgraded a bit more. It doesn't have to reach on horseback. Now, admittedly, it doesn't have an absolute dog shit power attack. Because, like, look at this. You can't hit anything with this. Alright, we're gonna go across the other place. That bridge there. Right, ignore the pumpkin head. Already killed him. What have we here? And have I been here? Stake of Marika. Interesting. Uh -oh. oh. What are you doing here? No, really. Well, why are you here? Okay. It's saying something. This one also has, like, using gold swords. It's kind of cool. They do hit like an absolute truck. Very... You're, you, either he has a different moveset, or he's just more aggressive, but... Well, now he's not as aggressive. Okay, I'm legit pressing other buttons. What he's doing. Here, I want to do this. If you're going to stand there like that, I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. Alright. You're dead. Drop anything? No. He's just guarding this area. 
We have another f giant fuck off ladder. What's with this place in giant fuck off ladders? Scavenger's curved sword. What? What now? What's this? New curved sword. I like curved swords, most of them. Ooh. Ooh. Unique curved sword, notched like shark's teeth. Weapon carried by corpse pillagers who prowl the sites of old battles. The blade is tacky with blood and covered with hefty nicks, making it totally uneven. Life can be sinister indeed. Spinning slash. Yeah, it's probably got good uh, blood buildup. Yeah, blood loss, I should say. Ah, the sea. This is, yeah, this is the northern sea. What the fuck is this supposed to be? Excuse me? Something out there? That's weird. I don't see anything. This is... Yeah, like... Okay. You can kind of see something. Tree. This is very strange. We're, tree we're looking at is coming up from right about here. Okay. It's big, but it's not one of the young Erd trees, because they have the golden feathers. I mean, it could be something like that, but it looks like, at the distance, it looks much bigger. <laughs> yep. That bullshit button press. Okay. Thank you very much. Alright, well, uh, I'm assuming that that thing doesn't respawn, so... Crafted Scion, I should say. Get our runes back. Now, I, I do want to look and see in the exact direction of where... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. There's totally something. No, oh, that's still not... Now we're looking directly at it. And yet, I don't see anything there. This looks fucking cool, whatever it is. These windmills. Who are these windmills? We haven't seen windmills before, actually. That's interesting. What is that? Looks like a... I mean, you can see the flying buttresses. It looks like some sort of temple. Very cool. We shall ascend. Ascend with Gorb. No. No. The last Gorb is not ascending with us. Oh, man. Hollow Knight. Such a good game. And I suck so bad at it. Would any of you guys be interested in seeing some, like, Metroidvanias on the channel? I need to get good. I need to get good before Silksong and Crossworn come out. One would logically expect Silksong to come out first, but I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Silksong is the sequel to Hollow Knight, by the way, and if you don't know what Hollow Knight is, um, what are you doing with your life? Hi. You, uh... Oh my god. That was, uh... Well, well played, mannequins. Well played, you got me. <laughs> uh, great death. <laughs> All right, up the ladder we go again. In fact, I'm gonna look here once more just to see if we can see anything else in case it's clearer. Doesn't look like it's any clearer. Okay, we'll go up. Is this Fortress Mount Gelmir? Yeah. Right. Or, sorry, the Volcano Manor. I don't know if I missed anything in the Volcano Manor either, and if you've commented on the episode saying, yo, you missed something, and you're like, why are you now saying that you don't know? It's because... I'm probably recording this a week, a week in advance, seven or eight episodes ahead of what I have published, so that is why. Uh, I, I say this every couple of episodes, just so that you guys are aware. 
but no one gets annoyed when I don't follow up on something immediately. Okay. Just not taking any chances with that one, and I'm not going to take any chances with this jerk either. Guy. He dropped something, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Please tell me it's your weapon. Of course. What else would it have been? Anything here? More mannequins. Marionettes. Sorry. I'm calling them mannequins. They're they're not. All right. Right here. Die. Next. Now oh, you're an archer, huh? Okay. Here. Die. All for a lily. Hmm. Ah, I see. This is a, uh, a torrent only jump. A bit precarious here. Why are there deer? What the fuck are you guys eating? So, further up. Two, two different ways further up. Crazy. Uh, more mannequins hiding in the fucking bushes. Or hide no bushes here. What am I talking about? Oh, good. Yeah, great. Dismount. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. What are they? I'm just picking on this guy. That's... Man, I can sympathize. I've been in that exact situation. Let me tell you. It's not fun. the sacramental buds? Is there sacramental buds in this game? I feel it's a massive missed opportunity on FromSoft's part not to come up with the um, sacramental blunt crafting item. I can really feel they dropped the ball here. And honestly, if I could, I, I would refund the game over this. Just... Not acceptable. Alright, question is, do both of the ladders... Yes. Uh, no. They do not. Rick. Fuck's sake. Alright, I'm taking the... I'm taking this one first, because I think the other one leads up to, uh... Higher. Cool area with the crags, gotta say. I like it. Moving along these cliffs. It's great. The mountains actually feel mountainous. I don't know if you guys noticed that in a lot of, like, other open-world games. From a distance, the mountains look really big, right? And it's this kind of, like, awe-inspiring, oh, it'd be so cool to climb, right? But then when you get to them, you run up them in, like, two minutes. Maybe, for, like, three or four minutes. But it doesn't convey this sense of scale. It's all of a sudden you realize they're like super tiny, and I've had this problem in The Witcher 3 and like all the Elder Scrolls games. Actually, Skyrim did it better, uh, but I think that's because it was so focused on mountainous environments that they had to do it better. Um, like uh, uh, with Oblivion and um, Horizon Zero Dawn, s same thing. Like these kind of inflated environments. Uh, I do not like you guys. Let me tell you. At least they can only do it once. Oh, that was a failed attempt. But my point is... Oh, yes, bird hat. Sign me up. All I wanted, bird hat. Fuck yes. Metal helm worn in the likeness of the face of a bird. Worn by the avionette soldiers. Crafted to serve the sorcerers. Why are they still here? The construction of this helm is remarkably crude. For a doll, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. It looks dumb as hell. Damn it. I wanted a cool bird hat. I uh, have been disappointed. Alright, we're going back to this one. Anything more to see from this mysterious whirlpool stone 
Like, th what is it? I want to know. <laughs> I really want to know. <laughs> this type of shit that you find out in the, like, terra incognita of these maps is always interesting to me. If you can't get to it. Just like... It's that mysterious, intriguing part of the map that you cannot access. And I want to know what it is! I wonder if we'll go there. Doubt it. Okay, is this... The way the, the one ladder leads? No, it's not. The other ladder still goes higher. Oh my god. You? Yeah, you're pretty dead. A lot of volcano stone here. Oh. Now we're talking. Yellow ember. A knight infected by madness. Oh, that's so cool. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Something else coming. What was that? Oh. They all... Yeah, the entire place is infected by madness. This is gonna make these regular enemies very dangerous, because they can do that. Okay, the big... The regular ones can't do nearly as much as the uh, knight can. Oh, shit! They're all over the place. Oh, this is getting a little... Uh, getting a little dangerous here. But I'll tell you what. You wanna play that game? I can play that game. Not very well, mind you, but I can. There we go. That was better. Give me a good showing for it. Okay. We may be dead. Let's, uh, heal. Oh, shit! <laughs> there's, there's, there's everywhere! Run away! Flee! Switch to the weapon. If you would, kindly. Thank you. Would you kindly? Okay. One down. Two knights! Dangerous business. Ow. I am fucked. I disagree with the fact that I could not roll there. Uh, I'm also mad. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna have to uh, climb all those ladders again. Fine. We're recording at 49 minutes. Oh, come on. There was a stake of Marika. Are you fucking shitting me? This is what I mean. Like... Stakes of Marika are, are great. I love that they exist, but... They don't always seem to work. One of the reasons why the Valiant Gargoyle fight was so infuriating is that the Stake of Marika worked like a quarter of the time. Even though there's one like right out in front of the fight. That too. There's an item up there. Can I get that? Yeah, I think I can get that. I think I definitely can't get that. Never mind. Where Where is that from? Uh, oh. It's from... Oh, no. We have to go all the way back around to get that. Okay. Uh, what? Ow. Where? Go this way. Why do they fall... F what is with this? Does anybody have any, like, compelling lore explanations for why wolves seem to fall from gusts of wind from the sky? Like, I have no answers. I've studied biology, okay? This is not what wolves normally do. Maybe it's just the species, you know? Weird species of, of wolf that, uh... Likes to... I don't know. Wolf nado. Yeah, Wolf Nado. That's, that's the extent of the explanations that I have. That's this one, right? And then, where's the other one? Was it just this one? No, there was definitely another ladder, but I thought I had to go up to something to get onto that ladder. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the ladder. The other one is somewhere over there. But I don't think so, because we're going to pass by a ledge. Or I had to scale one ladder to get to the place with the two ladders. Yeah. That was it. Alright. Up to the two ladders, or up to the other one. We, we found Frenzy. And I'm excited. We have to explore what's going on with the Frenzy, because... Well, I mean... 
Nope, I'm out of here. I don't want it. I just need to be more careful. I don't want to get overwhelmed again. I wasn't aware that there were that many of them. Oh, no. <laughs> that was satisfying. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, welcome. Dear customer. Oh. Yes, right this way. What? No. Where? Where the fuck are you? You're down here. Oh. I would not have seen you otherwise. Okay. Interesting. I mean, they're everywhere, but... Interesting that this one's here. Because... We already have a connection between them and the Frenzy. The Three Fingers. Note sold by Nomadic Merchant. Beneath Lane Dell, at the very bottom, lies our Lord. Lord of the Frenzied. The three fingers who hold us in thrall. Welcome, valued customer. Please, I'm hungry. What do you sell? Ooh. Oh, you sell the Confessor set, huh? I want that, actually. Fortunately, I don't have runes, but that's fine. I'll sell my runes. Sell all of them. I may even sell one of these remembrances. I don't really plan on using either of them. But let's get the Warrior's Cookbook. Get all of the gear. And I can still afford the uh, Stone Sword Key, so... Okay, may as well. I don't think I need anything else. Cool. Now we have the Confessor set and the Guilty Hood, which we can both... We can read both of. The Confessor set looks really cool, by the way. Uh, it's my favorite starting set by a significant margin. Black leather worn for blending in with the darkness. Worn by church confessors. The churches outside the lands between, dedicated to the teachings of the Two Fingers, send confessors out to follow the guidance of grace. The confessors are loyal servants to the Two Fingers, ready to hunt down and quietly dispose of their enemies. Interesting, so the Two Fingers' influence expands beyond the lands between. I did not know that. If the hood says anything else? No. Then we have the Hood of the Guilty. Where is that? Right here. Guilty Hood. Looks cool. Coarse hooded cloak of olive brown. The garb of those accused of lesser crimes. Indicated by the collar of sharpened branches. I wonder if there's any cool cosplay we can do here with that. Cause I, I like the look of it a lot. Yeah, I like the branches. Looks really cool. Um, what would be a good item to go with that? Or a good set to go with it? Maybe this? It's okay. That doesn't look too bad. Mm, way too fancy. Yeah, I mean, that's something. Get the Guardian Bracers, and... Oh, cosplay something else for a little bit. Sounds fine to me. Just want to find something kind of, you know, yellowish. Mm, looks a little, uh, looks a little strange. That. I mean, kind of cool. A little bit wretched, sure. Let's go. We'll go up this way. This isn't leading us to the, uh, the frenzy, but it's okay. I 
think we can probably drop down to there. Would hope. Or this just continues to rise. It's a cool area with all these ladders. I, I do like it. Bit time consuming to continuously climb these ladders, but that's okay. What have we here? Aside from a nice vantage point with which we can. Uh, oh, here they are. This is the guys that attacked us. Let's kill them like this. I hate to frisbee sometimes. Site here. And a what? I have yellow, okay. The Salt on Volcano Manor, the squall of the sick, the blasphemous, a wretched, unending war with no glory. Volcano Manor was attacked from two sides. It was surrounded. Again, this is also Landell's army. Oh, same army attacked Volcano Manor. But Seemingly to no avail. Don't think they won that. Question is, can we come back up if we go down? And I don't know. Let's actually quickly look around. Make sure we're not missing anything up here. Before we drop down. Yeah, this, this doesn't look like... Uh... Okay. That looked like it could be a twisted jumping puzzle, but... Type that would make me uninstall the game, but I don't think it is. <laughs> All right, down I go. We will approach the uh, madness infused from the other side. Hold them like so. That's just a yellow ember. All right, he's he's up. He's up and ready. Oh, nothing. Oh, why am I using this? Jesus. Not want to get caught. You guys do a shit ton of damage. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Nice try. Now you are gone. More smoothing stone four. More uh, yellow embers and an item. I have yellow. Three of them even. Okay. Those are not replenishable, by the way, I'd like to point out. Or at least they don't respawn, the Eye of Yellows, so... Until we can find a place where we can buy them, um, we must treat them as an extremely valuable resource. So, there's the bridge over there, but then there's also this ascent. Presumably will lead to something. Poison Grease, huh? Who are you? The enemies here. Kind. What what are you? Actually, you're coming. Demi human. Right? Yeah, you're a demi human. Interesting. A little larger than the regular demi humans, for sure. Here's the regular ones. So these ones are smaller. Interesting. New types of demi humans. In a cave. Awesome! A fucking cave. Cool. Um, this is, yeah, Volcano Cave. Uh, well, we're gonna do this next episode, because I need to, uh, head out. But this will be, uh, be the end of today's episode, guys. I duly hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave it a like if you have, and, um, I will be catching you in the next one. Ash Herder out. <laughs>